This video will show you how to remove ZXCVB ransomware. To remove this ransomware, first we need to use professional anti-malware to scan your computer. And then remove all the ransomware calls. This is important because the calls might activate the ransomware sooner or later if you do not remove all of them. So we are going to use Spy Hunter 5 to scan your computer. Open the video. Click the link and video description and you will get a page. Now you can download Spy Hunter here. And run the installer. Now you need to follow its steps to install SpyHunter 5. Select language and continue and accept and install. Just wait about one or two minutes. When you finish, start a scan now. It will help you find out all malicious files and malware on your computer. When the scan complete, click next. The one-time fix will need you to wait 48 hours. If you want to remove all the detected malware now, you should choose free chair. It will solve all your problem. Once your computer is clean and protected by anti-malware, you can try some free decryption tools on antisol and normal ransom. Let me show you how to get the decryption tools. Now open the page where you download Spy Hunter 5. Scroll down to step 4. Now you can see the link for Antisoft and the link for normal ransom. First, let's open Antisoft. Here, you need to upload the ransom node, the encrypted file here, and then input the ransom contact information this is in the ransom note let me show you here is the ransom note of ransomware okay copy the contact here and input and paste it in here and click upload okay you now the answer have Identify the ransomware is stop DJV VU ransomware. Now click here. See the see more information about it. And jot down. Here are some decryption tools for the ransomware. You select one and download and then see if it can decrypt your files. Now let's try the normal ransom. This is simple. Input the name of the ransomware. For example, DJVU. Okay, if you found it, click here and download the tool. That's all. Thank you for watching the video from ecsoftmalware.com. We hope it solves your problem.